Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Bloomhost tutorial video. In today's video, we're taking a look at how DuckPanel allows you to import your old servers from a different host to Bloom, either through their server importer feature or through another method if your old server host doesn't support FTP or SFTP access. Uh, we're not going to cover how to import databases from your old host in this video. That will be covered in the MySQL database video. So first, let's talk about Bloom's server importer method. I'm on the server importer page here in my duck panel. And first, what we're going to need is we're going to need the credentials of the remote FTP or SFTP server on our old host. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm on a sub server right now and our quote unquote old server is going to be my main Bloom panel. So we'll pretend that that other main server is from a different host. We're going to need to fill out all of the different credentials on this page in order to import the server. First of all, we're going to need to check the server type. I'm just going to select SFTP because that's what uh, Bloom supports. So that's what our quote unquote old host will support. Our host here is going to be hawk.bloom.host. Our port is 2022. Your username is as such. Your password will likely be the password that you use to log into the panel on your old host, but just double check with your old host just to make sure. And then base directory, if we leave this as a slash here, this means we're importing everything from the files of our old server. If I wanted to import just like the plugins folder, for example, I would type slash plugins and then another slash after that. And that would only import, say, the plugins folder from our old host. But I'm just going to leave this at a slash. And then this last option down here is a delete files toggle. If this is on by default, all the old files on your Bloom server, the server that you're importing the files to, will be moved to the recycle bin if they're being overwritten. If we toggle this off, any duplicate files will automatically overwrite existing files and permanently delete them. I'm gonna leave this on for now. Before I hit the import server button down here, I just wanna say it is recommended that you archive or zip up the files on your old server that you wanna to transfer to the new server. This is because through SFTP or FTP, your files will transfer a lot faster if it's a zip file or a tarball file or anything like that. And in that case, you would change the base directory to that zip or tarball file that you wanna transfer over. So I'm gonna hit import server for now. It'll give you a warning if you selected the option to delete files, all the files will be moved to the recycle bin. If you chose not to delete files, then any duplicate files will be overwritten. So I'm gonna say yes, overwrite files. And now you can see that in the console, everything was copied properly to our subserver. So let's check the file manager and you can see that we have copied everything from our quote unquote old host to our new Bloom server. So this begs the question, what happens if your old server host is having issues with FTP or SFTP connections? Is their panel outdated? Are there other credential complications, etc.? Bloom allows for another way to transfer your old server files to your new server. And it's only going to work if your old server host offers backups with the option to download them directly from a link. What do I mean by that? I'll show you. So first, let's go to the backup section in our old server host. I have it up here. This is our main Bloom server, but we're treating this again as our quote unquote old server host. Here's my backup here. I'm going to directly download this. And then you'll notice up here in my downloads manager in Chrome, you can see the backups going. I'm going to go to full download history, right click on the link here and hit copy link address. Then I'm going to go to the file manager of our new Bloom server, hit download from URL and paste that link in here and click download from URL. Once you do that, if the link is a direct file link, the download will begin. And once it's completed, the archive file for your backup will be available right in the home root directory of your server. 
Those are the two main methods that Bloom allows you to import your server files from an old server host. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial video. If you have any questions, link them down either in the comments or join our Discord server, link in the description, and ask them as well and we'll be able to help you answer them. If you want to see our other tutorial videos or just read the docs in general, links to both of those will be in the description as well. And that's it! Thank you so much for choosing Bloom Host, and we'll see you in another tutorial video.